In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to translate words into symbols that are expressions. And we're going to go through a couple of examples. Here's an example of what we are trying to do. So it says translate the phrase five times the sum of three and a number into symbols. So the goal is to take each one of these words and translate it into a mathematical expression, or maybe it's an equation if it has is or equals. Here are all the different words and what symbols they mean. So for example, plus some more, more than, increased by, that's all plus. And you can read through these. I would encourage you to write them down, take a screenshot, take a screenshot and write them down. A couple of notes here. I used X to represent the multiplication symbol, but generally we don't translate times into an actual X. So for example, if it said three times a number, a number is Y or any kind of variable. So I wouldn't write three X Y. I would just put them touching each other, three Y to represent multiplication. And then a couple of other notes here, these ones with asterisks, when it's in a sentence and not when it's in the question. So usually you'll have a big word problem and then the last thing is a question with a question mark. If it says per for each or for every in that last thing with a question mark, then we're not talking about multiplication, it's probably division. But up in the phrase, up in the sentences parts where they're actually ending in sentences, and you see per or for each or for every, it's probably multiplication. In the same way that we don't use X in multiplication to represent or in algebra to represent multiplication, we also don't use this division symbol, but I used it here because it's hard to indicate division without it when you're typing it like this. But usually what we do is we write it as a fraction. So if it says the quotient of three and five, you would write it three over five. The first number before the first thing before the quotient goes on the numerator, the top, and the second thing underneath the quotient goes on the denominator and the bottom. Over here, um, I already kind of alluded to this. So when it says a number, literally the words a number, not like it says five or seven, it literally says a number like that, you replace it with a variable. I chose Y, you can choose any letter you want, unless it tells you what letter to use as your variable. You can also use it for something unknown in a word problem. So whatever you're trying to find that's in the question, replace that with a variable. That's It's a placeholder. And then finally, if you see the word than, unless it's is less than, is greater than, those words go together into a group and mean these symbols right here. But if you see more than or less than, you're going to reverse the order that it presents them to you in. So if it says four, five more than three, you would write three plus five. So you write it backwards from what it is if it, if it has the word than, less than and greater than, but not is less than and is greater than. Isn't English fun? Okay, so let's go back to this one real quick. It says translate the phrase five times the sum of three and a number. So sum, we remember, is plus. And whenever you see these words here, let me, let me underline them. Sum, difference, product, and quotient. It's always going to be phrased like this. The sum of three and a number. <clears throat> the quotient of something and something. The product of something and something the difference of something and something. And so think of this as a phrase together. They go together, okay? So the sum of three, and the sum refers to the and. So I know sum is plus, so I'm gonna replus, replace the, replus the, <laughs> replace the and with sum. If this was difference, I would replace the and with subtraction and so on and so forth. So the sum of three and a number. So three is three. A number is a variable. It doesn't tell me what, so I'm gonna use y. Now, over here, it says five times the, five times the what? Five times the sum. So it's saying, I want to multiply five times what you get when you add these two together. So I need to put parentheses here so that these two would be added first and then multiplied times five. And again, I'm not going to put an X here for times. That's bad. That's bad. We don't do that. We just do five and we make it touch whatever it's multiplied to. If it's a number, just a number, then you put parentheses around the second number. 
five times the sum of three and y. Let's look at two more examples very quickly. Translate the phrase 62 less than twice Chrissy's height. Okay, it doesn't say is less than, so this is minus. And there's that word than, which means I'm going to switch the order of these two things. So Chrissy's height is going to go first. I'm going to put C for Chrissy. Twice Chrissy's height. So that means two times Chrissy's height. And again, not going to put an X, just going to put them touching each other. 62 will go over here. So less than is minus, twice Chrissy's height is two times C, and 62 is 62, and the reason I switch it is because it's than, and that's it, 2C minus 62. One more. Now we have a genuine word problem. Oh no, everybody run for the hills, it's a word problem. No, we can do this, it's not that bad. When Rafi's parents are away celebrating their anniversary, he gets to sleep over for a week at his grandparents' house. Woo! Afterwards, Rafi decides to make his grandparents a photo album of their time together. Aww. There are nine pages in the album. Rafi puts the same number of photos on each page. Each. That's a big clue right there. For a total of ba 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 ba. I know that means something. 63 photos. Write an equation. Okay, so it's going to have an equal sign in it to represent the number of photos T. So T is going to represent the number of photos that I don't know on each page. So there are nine pages, and each page has the same number of photos. So remember I said each was multiplication, and I'm going to put the dreaded x there just to help me remember. It's going to be a total of 63. So what is 9 being multiplied by? That's right, 9 is being multiplied times the t. It says 9 pages. There's the same number of photos on each page. So I would take 9 times the number of photos on each page, which I made represent t. 9 times the number of photos on each page equals a total of 63 photos. That's it. See? Not so bad.